Hi everyone. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the, the laptop charge IC circuit. So the first component is the power jack, as you can see. Then we have the inductor L. Okay, this is the inductor or the coil. So here we have two switches, as you can see, or MOSFETs. Here we have the Zener diode, basically to stabilize the current. This is a Zener diode. And here we have capacitors around this inductor. This is for capacitor, ceramic capacitor. And here, as you can see, we have a fuse. As you can see here, this is a fuse resistor. Okay. So all these components here are for protection. Okay. Those components, including Zener diode, including the fuse edge structure, are for protection. Okay. So over here, we have another motherboard, as you can see. So I will show you the power circuit in many motherboards in order to go deeper into understanding this circuit. So as you can see here, this is a diode next to the power jack connector. This is a diode. This is for protection. Okay. This is a diode for protection. It plays the, the, the same purpose as the fuse. Okay. So we'll find, always we'll find, or usually we'll find a diode in the power circuit of the motherboard. Here we have a zener diode, as you can see. So all these components here are for protection. Here we have two inductors. This is not ceramic capacitor, this is inductor because we have L, always the letter L refer to inductors, okay? So for this motherboard, as you can see, basically this is an HP laptop motherboard, as you can see. So here, as you can see, this is the power circuit where we have the power connector. As you can see, this is the connector that is connected via a cable. Here we have the diode. So this diode is for protection. If you have a deed motherboard or a not working motherboard, you should always check this diode. This diode can be shorted to the ground if there is a problem with the power. Here, we have a switch or a MOSFET and over here we have two inductors as you can see always you will find 19 volt in these inductors if any of this inductor is failed 19 volt will not be passed to the other circuit in the motherboard so you should always check the diode these inductors the MOSFET and also this chemical capacitor or electrolytic capacitors near to the power connector okay as i told you before i will show you many motherboards in order to understand clearly so let's see this motherboard also always using the same working principle so if you understand just the basic or the working principle in one motherboard you can understand any other motherboard so as you can see here this is the power jack as you can see and here we have the power connector as you can see, and here we have two switches. Basically, this is two MOSFETs or switches. Here we have the diode, as you can see. Usually, you'll find the diode near to the power connector. And one terminal of the diode is connected to the ground. Okay? So, if there is a problem in the power in the motherboard, this diode will be shorted and then will protect the other circuits in the motherboard. That's why. We use the diode always in the beginning of the power, okay? So basically the diode has the same purpose as the fuse. It protects other circuit, okay? So the diode, when the diode is failed, you will find, you will find it shorted, okay? So to check the diode, you can just put the multimeter to the buzzer option or continuity option and test it. If you hear a buzzer or you get a low resistance means the diode is bad. As you can see, we have D21. So basically, the letter D is the reference for the diode in every motherboard. So here we have the cathode. As you can see, this white line means cathode. Okay, of course, the diode contains two terminals, cathode and anode. Okay. So always the cathode is the negative terminal and the anode is the positive terminal.